are going to be just cleaning up the goat pen and then we have a mama goat to kind of clean up. She went through a really bad experience two days ago. Yesterday, we just let her be and just let her um, kind of mourn, I guess. She was just keeping to herself, would barely eat or drink. We did get her to drink. We made sure she was getting water at least but she delivered three deceased babies. And it was a really weird um, experience for us because we've never had to assist a goat delivery before. This was the first time. And the weird part about it was all three babies, she had three of them. All three of them were at a different stage of development. So like there was one who was barely developed at all. Then there was another one who was a little bit further along. And then there was one that was looked almost fully developed, but not quite yet. And so I don't know if just like throughout the pregnancy, the babies just stopped growing one at a time. Then she, she was laboring all night, kind of like restless and scratching at the ground. And um, we could tell that she was gonna be having her baby soon. And she had discharge and all that. At about 1.30 in the morning, I went to sleep. I was watching her on a baby monitor. She still hadn't started pushing or um had the babies yet no. and so at 1 30 i went to sleep and then i woke up at 5 30 still no babies and then around 9 a.m she started to like lightly push almost like contractions and then at 10 a.m she really started to push and started making lots of noises And pushing really hard and around 11 a.m which i know i let her push too long i i know that now but i don't think that that was what caused anything um the first baby was coming out bottom first and then it's it's back knee so it's like the the feet were the knees were stopping it from coming out is what i think and so when I had to assist, which I've never assisted in a goat birth before, so this experience was hard for me because I'd never done it before and it was three deceased babies. So I kept trying to think if it was something I did, but I really think after sitting with it and watching some videos that I watched on YouTube and thinking about everything that had happened, that I really think that uh, these babies were gone before she even started pushing. It was a hard experience for me, no. um, for our, my husband no. who helped me, and then Mama is definitely feeling it. Um, you can tell she's not herself, but she is getting up and walking around more, and she is out laying in the sun right now. We're going to clean her up today because she's still a mess um, from the day that it happened and the day after when she wasn't getting up for anything. She wasn't even standing up to use the restroom or anything. So she was just sitting in everything. And so we need to get her cleaned up and all of her um, shelter and everything. But we did get some, we did get some medicine from the vet and we administered that. And I've been getting, making sure she's eating and drinking plenty of water, but we definitely won't be letting her have any baby talked about it and she's not going to have any more babies for us. Um, I don't know her kidding history because she came to us from a friend and we were just hanging on to them and if they had babies, they had babies. They will be going back to the friend I think in the future, but for now she's going to stay here. Um, I'm not going to show you guys her right now because she's just a mess. We're going to get her cleaned up but she is out walking around. 
Um, anyways, she's, we're going to keep her, um, in a pen where she can't be with the males here and she won't be having any more babies. What I'm thinking is she was just on the older side, um, because we do know that she's had babies before she's kitted before, but we just don't know the history because, um, she's not ours. And, uh, the goat that came with her she's old and is not getting pregnant she's been with um our buck for i don't know a long time long enough to get pregnant she never goes into heat but she's older you can tell she's older so i'm thinking that francis who had the three stillborn babies that she's on the older side too So, we have some bow-legged ducks. This one's normal, which we got from tractor, we got all of them from tractor supply. If this one got up, its legs are the same way. So it's not going to get up. Get y'all some clean water. You're not gonna get out anymore, are you? That's why I want to be a little overzealous and do one more. You think we should do one more? How long have we had goats? Over a year now. Over a year, and we've never had one get out until this guy in the last month has gotten out three times, four times. This is Chip, and he is our uh, buck. He. He tries to get out and go see the mamas over there. Actually, she's over here now. When she, when this one was not in here, um, he would try to get out to see her. And I think she's bred now. I think he, he got her pregnant. And then we got a new little guy. This is Coconut. He's definitely littler than chip is i need to find out how old he is i'll message the lady and ask her but she just needed to rehome him because um she'd lost some goats and then he didn't have any goats to be around so she needed to rehome him so that's where coconut came from and then we separated jamie from her baby she's over here and then her babies are on this side of the fence this is ella and then shania must be put up or not put up. She's probably in the shelter. And then these are Heather's two babies. Oh, Shania's right here. I don't know if I completely missed that. But those are Heather's two babies. They're almost identical. Like their spots and everything. They look just like their mama. Um, and she, I'm going to start milking her soon. She does not like it. She actually does better than I thought she would though. But she's on, her babies are starting to nibble on hay and feed. And so I'll be milking her soon and separating the babies from her during the nighttime, milking her in the morning and then putting her back with her babies. This is Francis who had the three babies two days ago that were born deceased and doing really well. She's getting up, she's eating, she's drinking water. Um I'm watching her because her watching her because her poop is definitely not um the way it's supposed to be, but all of our mamas have been like that after birth and i think that's just like a thing that they kind of have to get everything back um regular so i'm just watching her because of that but she's walking around she's eating she's drinking um and i think she's gonna be okay we did i, I think i said we gave her some medicine and been making sure she ha has her minerals water food everything so we are going to clean the goat pens soon my husband has a lot of days off in April and we're going to get this all cleaned up and then I'm going to do a goat pen tour for you guys. And then eventually this whole back portion of our property will be fenced off for them to be able to have more land and to just be able to have more stuff to do because they're kind of outgrowing their pens. Those pens will probably just be for birthing or other animals that we get for the homestead.
too. And, ooh, this mama, I don't know if she's pregnant yet. Um, and if she's not, my bet would be, my bet would be that it would be Chip over here because he is definitely old enough to breed. Coconut here, I, I still need to find out how old he is because I don't know. But they're both Nigerian dwarfs. And then our girls are Nubian, Nigerian dwarf. And then I think a, a, they have a little bit of boar in them. I know for sure that Heather over there, who just had her babies, that she's quarter boar. And then I think that's the same for Jamie here and Sophia, the black one right there with the horns. And then Chip and Coconut are Nigerian doors. What are you doing, huh? Are they're definitely tall enough? What are you doing with your mouth? All right, I'm gonna go through and put hooks on these. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, did I, I did that the right way. What are you doing, Chip? <laughs> um, this morning, or this afternoon when I came out here to feed them, Coconut was laying over here on the side of the fence and would not get up. I was like, coconut, coconut. I'm getting the food and yelling coconut and he's not getting up and not moving at all. And so Sophia's even like messing with his head and stuff and he's not moving. So I thought something was wrong. I get over here and he just jumps right up. I thought something was wrong with him. So my husband said, if Chip gets out of this, then more power to him because we have Look at this. We have four rows of barbed wire. No, five, including. So one, two, three, four, five rows. I didn't hear anything. Okay. Five rows. So if Chip gets out of this, then my husband said more power to him. Hey, Chip, are you going to try to get out? So funny story. We moved him. We moved him because... I needed to put the babies over here. I didn't want him messing with the babies, okay? So we moved him down to the end of our property in a fence that we have. He jumps the fence and comes all the way back down here. What do you want? This isn't food. He jumps the fence and comes all the way back down here and we can't keep him in that fence. So we have to keep him over here. <laughs> I think that she might be in heat. Okay. That's not a... Because of our current setup right now, we had to put these two mamas back in here with um, our males, which means that they're probably going to be pregnant. I actually think the black one, which is Sophia, I think she is already pregnant, but we don't have the tools and stuff to check that. We just have to wait and see. And then Jamie here, I think she's in heat because both of the boys are interested in her and she's not like, she's letting them. So... Technically, I would have wanted to wait a couple more months for them to have their, their babies because they just had babies in October. Um, but I will give them a pretty lengthy break if they are pregnant now after kidding. Um, just because I don't want them having babies back to back to back. Which goats, I think, can have babies twice a year. But I'll give them a break um, if they are since they did get bred a little bit earlier than I would have wanted them to. And so I guess I'll throw a little garden update in the end of this video. We added this like hoop little trellis with the cattle panel on T-Post. And so I'll just be able to walk through here and be underneath stuff. It'll be super pretty. And then I'm pretty sure we haven't decided if up here is gonna be our potatoes or back here, we also you could go down the fence and we I'll show you. Or if we're gonna put 
up here we planted potatoes last year so I don't know if we're gonna do potatoes again up here because we know they do good or if we're gonna switch it up I wanted I kind of wanted to do all my peppers up here and then tomatoes I'll figure it all out but let me show you and then these are our strawberries from last year which are Chandler it's the Chandler variety and they are doing beautiful I planted a few of the new varieties in here just because I had space and I had extra these are a June bearing and I ran into a problem I thought I bought ever bearing here um in my mind I thought I bought this brand I'll put it on, on the screen but when I went back and found the little tags I did not I bought cardinal strawberries they are just planted throughout here they will green up but it is another June bearing variety so I have two June bearing varieties and then I planted asparagus plants in here they're second year asparagus plants so we will see how those do we have all of this space to decide what we're going to do with last year i grew tomatoes um, right here and then this was not in ground there was a raised bed right here we used to have all raised beds and we decided to do mostly in ground beds or the in ground gardening this year so you can tell where grass is starting to grow back. We need to get out here and lay some more wood chips and stuff like that. But I have 300 onions that we just planted. And then in November, I planted 150 garlic. So this is all of the garlic and it's doing really, really well. So garlic's doing great. And then over here, this is the onions that we just planted. We did 300 onions, two different varieties. I did a white and a yellow. And then you can see we have all of this space to work with as well. So we need to start planting our garden because inside I have tons of plants started. So this will be something beautiful to see in the next few months. You mad at me? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We will be back with more content and we'll see you guys next time.